Jared Kelnick has finally arrived. He is off to a great start even before the Chicago series when he blasted three home runs, including the one that everyone is talking about, where he hit a home run of 482 feet, which is now the second longest home run in MLB history in the StatCast era, just behind Giancarlo Stanton of the Yankees. This is all a breath of fresh air, as we saw that Kelnick struggled in his first two seasons in the major leagues, which included a heavily disturbing strikeout rate. Jared Kelnick put in some serious work in his game, and he seems to be much more calm mentally compared to previous seasons. More than any offseason all combined. Uh, so I'm looking forward to just letting my, my ability take over and letting my ability speak for itself. And, not saying a whole lot. The other thing that I have noticed is how clutch he has been, especially when he was able to fight off an 0-2 count against the Cleveland Guardians and hit a double which led to J.P. Crawford driving him in and Julio Rodriguez smashing a home run to help win that game. And also, let's not forget about that game-tying home run against the Cubs. Kelnick, a high fly ball, right field. If this is fair, it's gone. It's plenty fair. It's plenty gone off the scoreboard. Comparing his stats, his strikeout rate has decreased to 26.8 as he was at 33.7% last season. His walking rate has increased to nearly 10% and his hard hit percentage has nearly doubled as well compared to the last season. On top of hitting three home runs and five RBIs, he is currently batting 351 with an on-base percentage of 415 and a 1.118 OPS, which has also almost doubled what he has done his last two seasons. His hitting style does remind me of Bryce Harper, and go ahead and check out both their swings. He also has very similar numbers in the Baseball Savant website, including very similar max exit velocities. They even both have similar electric personalities as well. But hopefully Jared Kelnick won't exactly get to Harper's level. Once a piece of Hunter Strickland, here they go. If Jared Kelnick can keep up with this production going forward, not only would he contribute well for this offense, but he could possibly make a run for an all-star spot, which would be ideal since the all-star game is in Seattle. Unfortunately, due to his strikeout rate still being 26.8%, which is still pretty high, it is unrealistic to see him sustain this production. I also saw that he hardly hits against lefties as well. So as the season goes on, expect his numbers to decline over time. But if he could at least improve from his last two seasons, be more patient at the plate, hit the ball hard, and come up in the clutch, then he will be a valuable asset to this team and maybe move AJ Pollock to the DH role since Cooper Hummel has been atrocious this season. And his valuable contributions would make Jerry Depoto and Justin Hollander geniuses for not going for high price free agent players in 2023 offseason. But those are my quick thoughts on Jared Kelnick. Let me know what you think how Jared Kelnick will do for the rest of the season and can he sustain this early success?